My main goal is to make people feel seen and heard and that they matter. So my personality will try to bring that out of people in the lightest, simplest way. I was a Canadian girl living in Mexico, working in my living room, doing online personal training. I wanted to find a professional space to run my online personal training clients. I didn't want to run them from my living room anymore. So in that process of finding a professional space, I thought, why not start running some classes? I had just started getting into Ram Dass, and he has this expression that says, quiet the mind, open the heart. And I absolutely love, 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 love that. So we decided to look up to open in all the different languages, and Hamama is to open in Hawaiian. So it seems to just like stick in people's heads. Ultimately, it means to open. Come at life with an open mind, an open heart and be open to new ideas. The Hamama schedule is built off of the nervous system. The understanding that in the morning we need yang to awaken, and at night we need yin to, to sleep, to calm ourselves down. Vinyasa yoga and body sculpt in the morning, and then at night we do breath work, yin yoga, and restore yoga. My favorite class at Hamama is the body sculpt. I do it twice a week. Uh, it makes me feel super empowered and it's changed my body. Everything that comes out of the studio I have fallen in love with. My favorite is body sculpt. I take it two to three times a week in the mornings. Drop it down, grab your ball, your ball The body sculpt class is the balanced body method of balancing the body. My method goes posture, core, glutes. Always balance work. Always coordination work. Always. I take body sculpt and it starts my day four times a week. It's part of my routine. It's insane some of the women's bodies that the transformations that have happened here in the year and a half that I've been training them. I've lost about 50 pounds in the last year and a half and I attribute that a lot to Jenny. For me it's been one of the biggest uh, most important things that's happened to me in the last three years. <laughs> So I typically come for the yoga vinyasa class on Mondays and Fridays. One breathe more in okay. Good. Break your foot out of your right hand. Don't have your feet in. Good job. Excellent. And bend your torso to your right side. Right Voy llevando durante el proceso y todas las posturas a los practicantes a poder cada vez abrir, abrir, abrir más la postura de una manera que tenga una coherencia tanto física y energética. Different trees, you know. 
There is something to be said about coming into a small, safe place with only a few people to really learn how to access our own human potential through our breath. Remember, we're in this together. Yes, I'm leading you, but when you're talking, look at everybody. Breathwork at Hamama is a, a safe space. <gasps> Inspired! Breathwork is a soma practice, which soma means body. So it's all about tuning into the body, quieting the mind. I invite everyone to lay down onto their mats, facing the mandala, uh, the seat of life in Hamama. And the practice is about 45 minutes long. I guide them as well as I put music on that keeps a steady beat. So five songs, five rounds with retentions in between. That is what breathwork does. You're giving yourself a break from being a human doing to a human being by doing this practice. This is a very warm space, very warm, very welcoming, that invites you to connect with yourself. I would say that Hamama is a place that invites anyone who is looking to discover their physical and spiritual body and feel safe doing it. It's a place that I like to wake up and come to multiple times a week and sometimes multiple times a day. The key to Hamama is that it's such a safe space. You can even have so many different classes within it because it contains that safe energy. I think Hamama attracts people with open minds and open hearts. I would recommend people to come to Hamama because it feels good to be there. So it's not really just like about the results, they're just like a delightful benefit. I think people should try Hamama Studio because it's small, it's very individualized attention, and it's community, it just brings such community. If I were to give Hamama one word, it would be community. I didn't realize I needed or wanted community until it landed on my lap with a mama. Let me bring you back to the subject. Peps on the set. Make you get hot, make you work up a sweat. When you skip to my loo, my darling, not for a minute. Hope no fat don't make me see what a wop slip slide in my hips. So I did back them <laughs> tricks and I look really like maybe want to do tricks on lick them like a lollipop should be licked. Came to my sisters and I chilled for a bit. Don't know how you do the voodoo that you do so well. This is hell's hell. Make me want to shoop, shoop, shoop. Shoop, badu, shoop, badu, shoop, badu, 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 shoop, badu, shoop, badu, shoop, badu, badu, badu. Well, let me bring it back to the subject. Peps on the set. Make you get hot, make you work. <laughs> Arturo. <laughs> ha mama. Ha mama is my mama. Some people call me mama of ha mama. Am I a ha mama of the mama? Am I a mama of ha mama? How many times can you say ha mama? Ha mama. 
You could say it like a motorbike. I'm just going to start a documentary with that. Yeah, right? <laughs>